If you're feeling very emotional, like on a roller coaster of ups and downs, if there is maybe a lot of piled up inner anger, aggression and frustration, confusion, the sense of being lost, the knowing that you have to make changes, the desire to speak your truth and no longer keep the peace, then welcome to eclipse season and in particular to a very powerful and life-changing month of October that's not just going to change the trajectory of your life this month but in particular in the next year and a half to come. On October 14th we are going to have a massive and very challenging new moon solar eclipse in Libra because this eclipse is going to square Pluto in Capricorn. Now what does that mean? Pluto in Capricorn is all about liberating ourselves, becoming our own inner authority, speaking our truths and being the leader in our lives and in certain areas that we know we need to be. While new moons usually tend to bring new things into our lives, the eclipse is taking place in Libra in the south, which is about letting go, letting go of old toxic relationships, old behaviors and dynamics, people-pleasing mechanisms, but also any kind of relationship that has literally run its course and we were holding on to it. Relationships are at the core of our existence, all kinds of them. And that's why as we are moving now further and further, more into our power, more into our sovereignty and into a higher state of consciousness within ourselves, so will the relationships around us now transform. And you've had a preview of the changes that are going to come and that you are going to make already during the summertime. If you think of June until August this year when Venus was retrograding in Leo, what has occurred for you in particular? Was there as well some sort of anger, some sort of frustration, and especially was there a huge emotional wave that you were riding? 70% of humanity as per human design actually have an emotional authority. And what does this mean? It means that we need to ride emotional waves that are coming into our lives. And we feel them in particular when we are sad about something, when we are angry about something, when we are to make decisions and we cannot find the truth in the moment. So we need to sit out that way. When I say sit out, I mean sit with it, breathe through it, really understand it and feel it fully. And once that wave has finished its cycle, then it kicks it into neutrality. And this is also the place where we get our clarity. The second eclipse this month is going to be on the 28th of October in Taurus, and it's a full moon eclipse. And while full moons are usually all about letting go and also illuminating the hidden because the full moon illuminates the dark, the night. It is going to be an eclipse with the north node, which means we are going to actually reap the rewards for our hard work because it's the last cycle, it's the last eclipse of the Taurus Scorpio eclipses and axes that we've had for the past 18 months. So both signs are ruled by Venus, which is also a highly feminine theme. And on top of that, on Friday the 13th, we have a day that is usually considered as malefic, which is completely not true because the number 13 is a highly divine feminine number. So we have here so much feminine energy. And when I speak of that, I also speak of the dark feminine, of the rage within all of us, because there's so many planets squaring Pluto, squaring certain signs right now, especially leading to these eclipses that are causing in us all kinds of emotions. So while you may be busy with many things, remember to sit still and to really deal with your emotions, understand what it is that your soul wants you now to be liberated from. This month is also universally considered the number eight and 2024 is the eight year, the eight universal year. This year, 2023, is the seventh universal year, which means it is a year of spirituality, of deep introspection, of tuning within. That's why we had so many planets retrograding this year. And that's why so much is happening inside of us. But the number eight is also a number that amplifies. So be very mindful this month what you are asked to change. And I strongly invite you to not fight these energies, but to really trust. And I know this small five letter word is sometimes so tricky, but it is very important. And I believe that trust goes way beyond our human comprehension. 
Remember to really be very clear with yourself, honest with yourself and just ride the wave. Because whatever you're going now to be honest about and take action on is going to be amplified next year. Eclipses are considered destiny points and that's why in particular in ancient Kemet, in the Atlantean time, Nilamuri and Babylon, also of course the Mayans and all the secret societies, the occult and the billionaires work with astrology and astrological cycles because they understand how they are governing our life here on earth and also please remember that in our century we are going to experience a polar shift that is going to completely turn our reality upside down when it comes to energies but i'm going to do a separate video on that so i'd like to remind you that all the big life events marriage meeting a significant other a huge career change children death and birth are governed by the eclipses so remember that this is a time to really also tune within and trust trust the process sit with your emotions honor what comes up for you work through it and then once clarity kicks in you will know what to do oftentimes it is also a crisis that can cause us to make those changes through external events so instead of external events dictating what is happening just be real with yourself and allow this time to guide you where you need to go